Good morning on today, which is the week two Thursday, we are going to look at Harappa and Mohandaro, talk a little bit about them, but first we're gonna talk about our big project, which is our week three. So I'm going to go into a class, in this case it is going to be block two. Now when you go into block two, go into the classwork tab, and scroll down until you get to the, oops it is, is. the reading unit Middle East and India. You're going to notice that there is a novel unit rubric which is our week three activity and it is the last activity you guys will be doing and serve as the final project. Let's go over the rubric. So, looking at this rubric, you're going to notice there are three different activities you could be doing. You could be doing a Google Sites, a Google Form, or a Google Slide. To make a Google Sites, and we are going to just go down to the B column, which is what I expect from you, you're going to create a Google website that has the summary of the book's plot listed and explained, including the exposition, rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution. We did this when we walked through the house that Lou built, and we broke down the story into these sections. My recommendation is you do something very similar to that. Additionally, you have three pictures or illustrations that will help with understanding, whether this be on the setting, a specific event that happens, it is up to you. Use them to help with understanding. Additionally, you could do a Google form. You create a form with at least 15 questions. These questions should be higher level thinking and cover plot and theme. The goal is to not have a one word answer be acceptable, but make you think a little bit deeper as if it was a quiz given to your classmates at the end of the book. You do need to have the answers also submitted so that I know you understand the question. For a Google slide, you are going to describe the country in your book. You are going to use the five themes of geography we learned in quarter one, being movement, region, human environment interaction, location, and place. You will also have a slide on the past and present situation of the cultural connection. This will depend on your book. For example, the Night Diary will be looking at refugees. How are refugees treated and what is the process of entering a country in the past and throughout history? And how is it to be a refugee in modern day? Amal Unbound will look at indentured servitude. What is the history? What was it like previously versus how it's like now? Those are just some examples. My suggestion for the Google slide is that each theme of geography should have its own slide as well as the past should have a slide and the present should have a slide for your cultural connection. I hope that made a little bit of sense. And we are going to go ahead and stop right there.